Friedman. The Friedman test is used to find out the index of coincidence for a ciphertext message. The index of coincidence can indicate whether or not a polyalphabetic substitution has been used. The index of coincidence is the probability that any two randomly selected letters are the same. The English language has an index of coincidence 0 0.065. This means that if a ciphertext message has an index of coincidence close to this number, it is most likely a monoalphabetic substitution. If the index of coincidence is between 0 0.0385 and 0 0.065, the text is most likely enciphered using a polyalphabetic cipher. Friedman was an American cryptographer. He wrote a series of 23 papers on cryptography, including the first description of the index of coincidence, an important tool in cryptanalysis. Friedman test. This is the formula that will be used to determine whether a message has been encrypted using polyalphabetic or monoalphabetic substitution. Eve has intercepted another message Alice sent to Bob. To use the Friedman test, Eve creates this table. In the first column, the I column, the alphabet is inserted like this. In the second column, N sub I represents the amount of times each letter has occurred in the message. In the message, A has occurred three times, B twice, C seven times, D five times, E seven times, F three times, G only once. H four times, I six times, J three times, K eight times, L seven times, M seven times, N three times, O four times, P four times, Q six times, R eight times, S four times, T twice. U does not appear. V nine times. W three times. X nine times. Y three times. And Z eleven times. The third column, N sub I minus one, represents each subscript in the second column, minus one. For the letter A, three minus one equals two. Follow this simple process for all the letters in the alphabet, like this. The fourth column, n sub i times n sub i minus 1, requires Eve to multiply the second and third column in each row. For letter A, Eve multiplies 3 times 2, equaling 6. This process is repeated for each row until it looks like this. Next, Eve adds up all the numbers in column 2 and in column 4. The total of the second column is 129 and the total of the fourth column is 702. Now Eve can use the formula using these numbers. Since n sub i times n sub i minus 1 equals 702 and n is equal to 129, this means 702 divided by 129 multiplied by 129 minus 1 equals 0 0.04251. 4, 5, 3, 4, 8, 8. So as any number between 0 0.0385 and 0 0.065 means the text has been encrypted using polyalphabetic substitution. As this result falls in these numbers, this is more likely to be a polyalphabetic substitution. But that's not the end. We can use this result to work out the length of the keyword using this formula. This gives us 0 0.027 multiplied by n, which is the total number of the second column, which is 129, divided by 
1 to 9 minus 1, multiplied by 0 0.0425 145 0.038 multiplied by 1 to 9 plus 0 0.065. The answer is 5.41 Seven, nine, seven. So the length of the keyword is 5, and the message is enciphered using polyalphabetic substitution. Eve can now use the Kaczynski method to crack the message. This is the plain text message after Eve worked out the keyword to be every, and was able to read it.